Do you think the current occupant of the job, of Comptroller Combs, has done a good job? I think she's got a mixed record. You're not, just, saying you're not just saying that because she endorsed your opponent. No, I said it before. Y'all have had several articles. Well, in fact, I have the quote right here. This is back on September the 4th to Amon Bethesda of my staff. Quote, she's done a lot of good things, transparency in particular. I think we have a pretty good office, she said, regarding yeah. Susan Combs. After she endorsed uh, uh, Senator Hager, I respect Susan Combs for her service to the state, but her record has come up short in many areas. Part of the reason I'm running is to make significant, specific improvements in the comptroller's office. Sounds like well, she must me, have done something in six weeks that no, made you not No, like I it. think you're way wrong on that because you weren't doing the interview, and I'd be glad to engage the reporter. Yeah. That's not the, all we talked about. I, yeah. you know, and in, the, in that case, you're looking for the opportunity to be positive. And, and, uh, but I talked about things I liked. I didn't say that I liked everything. Right. And, but I said these are the things. I focused on the positives right. and moved on. Then when the opportunity came up to focus on more than just the positives, I've done that. So, to, so speak candidly then, endorsement notwithstanding, what are the things she's done well and what are the things she's not done well? I think her initiatives on transparency, on the checkbook, uh, engaging local governments for transparency, debt transparency, uh, things of that nature I like. I see, I've been looking at that and see where there's other opportunities to increase it, expand it, yep. extend it. We'll be laying out those during the course of the campaign where we think we can build upon what she started. Right. But I think in the case of tax administration in particular, mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a long ways to go. We're not sending the right signals to the business community. You know, we got to look at the business community and, and uh, businesses and business owners as employers. They, they provide a service or a product. They employ people to help uh, deliver that product or that service. They uh, invest in the state, they invest in their business, they're investing in real estate, they're opening stores or offices, hiring people, and trying to make a living and to make a profit. Those yeah. are good things. And the more businesses that are doing that, the more businesses that are successful in growing their business and succeeding with their business and employing more people are helping the Texas economy grow and prosper. And, the role and when of the, we prosper, we all prosper. And the role of the comptroller in that, Chairman, is what exactly? Well. If you're cooperating, if you're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. You can help facilitate the growth of the economy or you can constrict it. And this is an opportunity for the comptroller to send the right signals to the business community, yep. to be clear on the rules, be more consistent on, on our rules that implement our tax law and that, I, and that enforce our tax law. And so when, a, when there's a tax dispute, uh, for instance, and a business uh, disagrees with the tax bill they get, or they have a question about how is my, my, this is a new business line we're doing, we're opening up a new store, we're gonna be focused on this as opposed to our old business, uh, how are we gonna fall, how is, how are we gonna be exposed to tax code, what's our liability gonna be? Right. They ought to get a cooperative uh, uh, opportunity in cooperation with the comptroller's office to get their questions answered, they ought to get the clarity they need and in general, the tax code, the enforcement of the tax code, uh, the rules, uh, promulgated rules and other rules ought to be clear and they ought to send the right signals to the business community so the business community is uh, positive and encouraged to make the investment, to open the other office, to employ more people, to grow their business, which grows the Texas economy. You feel that the, uh, the comptroller's office is currently uh, cooperative, uh, prompt in its responses? I hear from many businesses that that's, they're not cooperative enough. They can do better. Right. And as the next comptroller, I will do much better. It will be a focus, a priority of mine. Right.